Hi, my name is Amara Chuku and I'm back again for the week 11 summary video of my learnings about pre-bridge. So, um, last week we continued learning about Diamond Standard and we explored um, more of what Diamond Standard provides us. So, um, like we know, Diamond Standard helps us to exceed the normal 24 kilobytes which our smart contracts are limited to so that way by using smart contracts you can have um, a project size as much big as you want so you don't have that limitation anymore and also with diamond standard you can have a very good structure so no matter how big your um, project start growing you can easily manage them because you have a very good structure with diamond standard and also upgrading your smart contract is very very easy and more possible um, and prevents um, collision of functions much more easier so you can have a project as big as much you want and um, you, you it's upgradable in the sense that you can um, have an upgraded contract and then you deploy that one and then you replace it with the one that was there before so that's very very easy with um, a facet provided by diamonds that are known as a diamond cut facet so this um, function and um, this facet this contract is responsible for your upgrades and also there is something also called diamond lupe so diamond is also transparent in the sense that you can query a diamond and it gives you all the functions that the diamond uses so with the diamond lupe this is made possible um yeah so you can query a particular diamond and you can you're able to see all the functions that this diamond uses so this includes immutable functions so immutable functions are functions that are defined directly in the diamond um, contract itself so these functions are immutable in the sense that they are not included in the diamond cuts so they are not there in the sense that they can't be replaced so they are just defined in the contract itself in the diamond contract itself so um that's um pretty much um what diamond standard gives you and there's a lot more there's a lot more to explore with diamond standard so that's that is very, very cool. So this um, week two, we started learning about Foundry. Foundry is another very sweet, fast development tool. Um, just like, you know, Hard Hat and Truffle, Foundry is um, is new and it gives you a lot of benefits, like really, really cool benefits. And it's very fast to add to. Like, and it gives you a lot of cheat codes. And this cheat code is what really makes it more special. So you can do several things. You can do something like warp. That means you can go um, go in time, forward in time, and backward in time. And you can prank. That means you can um, impersonate someone. You can do a lot of crazy things that it makes testing easier and makes testing even things that you've not thought of them being possible. So one thing, one of it is that you know. When you want to test, you normally use um, you normally use JavaScript to test, and you can query Java. You can query Solidity from JavaScript, but you can't query um, JavaScript from Solidity. So with Foundry, you can do that. So with with a cheat code known as FFI. So there's actually a lot, a lot of um, cool stuff that you can do with Foundry and coupling that with diamond you are you are flying eagle like you can do a lot of things with these two stuff so i'll drop a link in the description with um um a small project that i did with diamond standard and also a link to um foundry book so you can explore this and it gives you a lot a lot of things and their documentation is really nice it's very very comprehensive and also I also drop a few other links with um which are links to um a very um a kind of a starter project that you can just clone and start working with. Um one with Hadat, another one in Foundry, and that's and that's that's a very good place to start with. And that's that's just the brief summary of our um last week classes 
so thank you for watching and then um, look forward from another look forward for another video from me this time um, next week thank you